India Khush Hua, content creation and building brands for the masses on digital platforms is what our next speaker will be talking about. She's the Chief Operating Officer of Shemaru Entertainment Limited. Please put your hands together for Ms. Kranti Gada. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, a very big thank you to the E4M team and the Content Jam team to have me here. Uh, so today I'm here to talk about the digital platforms, and I'm sure we've heard a lot of that through the day. Uh, you know, when we spoke about digital, and even as an organization, when we looked at digital for our content all these years, we spoke about targeting audiences or specific audiences and how the digital audience is different and uh, needs to be looked at differently and the millennial and all of those kind of terms. But as digital becomes mass, and which it definitely is, and as it broad bases, it is going to ape the broader mediums, the mass mediums, namely television. Uh, we went through this a few months back as an exercise, inward looking exercise, to see how we could reposition ourselves in this new world of content space. And you know, people kept asking us, aren't you making series? Are you not doing stuff for A platform, B platform, international stuff? And we were very tempted to say we are going to rebrand and become this young, cool, hip brand, you know, targeting the millennial. Uh, but we looked inward and we said, what do we stand for and what has brought us success till date? And what will be relevant to India in the long run? Yes, today the millennials are seeming a particular way. Yes, today the digital audiences are behaving a particular way. But is this what the future also holds for us? And that many months of deliberation and inward looking reconfirmed what we probably at some level already knew is that at large, India still is the same country. It's the same Indian, it's the same guy who enjoys his masala, his tadka, you know, we will eat Italian food, but it will be spiced. We will eat Chinese food, but we eat Indian Chinese. And therefore, we thought that what we really stand for and want to be proud for is being unabashedly Indian, deliver masala to the India who loves masala. Uh, what does it manifest as? I have a very short film, uh, which I hope and will entertain you too. Please, can we have the film? We know the language of Indian entertainment. Thank you. So we made it our mission 
to be the antidote to boredom to India, the one billion Indians of India. Uh, let me throw a little bit light on what we are talking about when we say we know how to entertain India. What is the Indian we're talking about? We are very much talking about the millennials and I'm sure many of us have in our brand objectives to serve the millennial and what do we think of when we see a millennial? We look at it a little differently. These are also millennials and they way, way, way outnumber the millennials on the previous slide. They have aspirations, they are growing fast, they are learning fast. Uh, digital is providing them a kind of parity, democracy like never before to move ahead in their lives. And what are they watching? They love color, they love over the top, they love masala, they love action, drama, tarka, the works. They do not like subtle, they do not understand Western nuances. They love Indian. Unlike popular belief, 97% of the millennials do not live in tier one cities. So this is what will this is what the digital consumer will look like as we broad base, as we move from being largely metrocentric, largely tier one centric to not only the next level of towns, but also to lower SECs within the metros and tier one cities, to the older age groups. As we move from 250 million video, online video watchers to 500 million video watchers, in fact, uh, speculation also has it that we're gonna be 750 by 2021. But the broad point being that as video broad bases, it will touch a very, very different kind of consumer. Uh, I'm going to now spend just two or three examples on the kind of content that we deal with, which has seen huge traction as video has broad based. Uh, as you would know, with the uh, huge infrastructure rollouts with digital in the last uh, 18 months, we've seen a lot of new digital audiences. And our channel, Shemaru Filmi Gane, has seen a massive, massive growth and uh, traction. We have, we are now sitting on 14 million subscribers. We add 1 million subscribers every 45 days. We have 78 million unique users every month, month on month consistently. It does not spike because of a particular event. It's a consistent, regular, loyal user who comes on board. We would think that, okay, it's YouTube. It does not, it's video. It's probably not across digital media. But let me tell you, this brand holds the world record and the largest number of tweets in a day. On Twitter, we ran an Antakshari, a digital Antakshari, which had 32,000 unique tweets in a day coming from audiences. And there's a world record set for that. Uh, this is the kind of content which resonates with the masses. Uh, another interesting point, only 7% of India actually consumes video content in English. The other 93% consumes it in Hindi plus regional languages. As internet grows and becomes even more broad-based, only 25% will be consumed be between English and Hindi. The other 75% is going to come from vernacular languages, other languages. And we already see a lot of traction there too. Uh, Sorry, as we are not just Bollywood, but we have a huge network of regional channels on YouTube. And, uh, you know, be it Gujarati, Marathi, Bengali, Kannada, Telugu, Punjabi, we see huge traction in the language content. And we also have hold over uh, some unusual categories. Uh, live events, for example, what do you think is the biggest live event of the country? It's not EDM, it's the Kumbh Mela. With 100 million devotees visiting the Kumbh Mela in the last edition of 2013, and over 12,000 crores of transactions happening during the 90-day period. Uh, again, this is a category which Shimaru has built very, very painstakingly and uh, what, with a lot of love and care. Uh, we have, again, a network, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on the DTH where we run 
various religious content uh, channels or on our apps. Uh, we have built uh, networks again on religious content and today with the resurgence of Ayurveda and inclination towards Ayurveda, this becomes your ideal target audience. Uh, so Shamaru Bhakti and Shamaru Ibadat also exist at, as apps on which you can actually do transactions, order prasad, do online pujas, offer donations, etc. Uh, in short, we are the experts and curate in identifying trends and curating content for the masses of India. We do it day in and day out. We've done it for the last 55 years. And we welcome all of you to partner with us on our journey in serving India. Thank you. Any questions? Hello. Uh, you said that 7% uh, of uh, videos are watched in English. So what, what is the percentage for English, for example? Sorry, I didn't get the question. 7% is English. Yeah, so what is the percentage for English? English? Yeah. I'm sure it's higher, but uh, I would I don't have the statistic honestly. Mm. I'm sure English is definitely higher, and uh, I guess that would be one of the ways in which you know you can uh, reach out to masses. It's not only English; it's probably Gujarati plus English, or Bengali plus English, or Punjabi plus English. Uh, you know, would uh, definitely be more mass, and those could be innovations which uh, you know serve India. You do a lot of regional content. Uh, can you help us understand what are the structures and processes you have put in place to make sure the content pipeline is robust? I'm sorry. I think the mic is not very clear. I'm not able to understand the question. Uh, uh, what I was asking is you do a lot of regional content. Yes. So can you help us understand as an organization what kind of systems and processes you have put in place to make sure that your content pipeline is robust? Uh, so. In terms of, so I would talk about my organization. Uh, even in regional today, the content which is reaching the masses is the more organized content, be it film or uh, television content or uh, content which is a in a traditional format but on digital uh, platforms. Uh, I think the, probably the question is a little more specific and uh, may vary to vary depending on the use case or the brand involved, and we could take it offline. Any more questions? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Ms. Gara. Please stay with me as I uh, invite uh, Ms. Neha Warrior, Vice President, Sales India, Miria, to kindly present a memento to Ms. Gara. Thank you, ladies.